I am going to show you how to hook up one of these little Rapala titanium spring bobbers. Um, a little tricky, but now that I've done several, this is probably my tenth one. Everybody has these little tiny screwdrivers. You need a real tiny screwdriver. And these things aren't cheap, so you don't want to break them. But I can tell you firsthand that they're a very durable little deal. So you can see they're real tight when you get it out of the package. And you just, you can actually be pretty rough with them. I mean, you don't have to worry about breaking them. But all I want to do is basically get it open like that. So there's no gaps, you can't see any gaps anyway, but you want to get those teeth so they're separated. And then pretty much from there, you can just snap your rod right through the gaps. And you're trying to work it down where you can get it like that. And work it into the uh, to the rubber. Um, I'm not putting it on the actual graphite. I'm putting it on the rod tip. And it's as easy as that. And then you take and squeeze. You can hear that thing snap four times. Actually, I'll get one more out of it. And that's a really snug on the end of my rod. Um, then you just take your line, go through your rod tip, and then go through the bobber tip, and there you go. Real quick and easy to put on. Um, they're real easy to get off too. You just use that same screwdriver and open it back up. Um, the one little tip I'll tell you is uh, make sure you take that bulky part and slide it sideways so it's pointing sideways. Um, and then you can see the clearance. There's a lot of clearance. Your line won't, doesn't get tangled or anything like that. Just keep it, keep it up like that. You've got a good quarter inch of clearance. But the one thing I like about this particular spring bobber is one, it's durable. You're not going to break them. Um, but they stay real snug, secure. Don't move around like a lot of them do. Um, you want to get everything lined up like that, and once you do it, it stays. And then my favorite little part is I can make it shorter, like that, which is actually how I use it a lot of times because I don't want a lot of, you know, a lot of movement there. Um, or you can pull it out and use it its full length like that, and that makes it real sensitive. So I kind of like it somewhere in the middle, about halfway, something like that. But that is the uh, Rapala Titanium Spring Bobber in action. Real easy once you know how to do it. And I'm ready to go fishing.